guys i have been gone for a really long time and it's very strange to vlog now but as you can see baby girl is here and she's a month old already i've kind of been taking it very slow the whole month i've been doing nothing but resting just like allowing my body to get all the rest that it needs and finally i'm starting to feel like myself i'm not completely healed yet which i'm surprised about because i've been watching a lot of influencers and they're like back on their game maybe a week or two after um but for me it's been like a very slow healing i'm not gonna have a birth vlog out so i can tell you guys quickly about how the whole thing went down she was born on october 27th um my due date was october 13th and i ended up having to get induced because i just didn't go in labor until i was 42 weeks and so they told me at 42 weeks maybe they can like induce me and i accepted that because you know it would be too risky to keep her in the belly um so i didn't want to take the risk so we decided to induce and so on saturday october 26th we checked in into the hospital and when i got my cervix checked at that time um i was zero centimeter dilated like there was no sign of labor i don't know what was happening i was very surprised because i was trying everything that i can to induce labor naturally like walking a lot carb walking eating dates and all those stuff but nothing worked and so yeah when i got into the hospital i was zero centimeter dilated and my midwife told me that she would be surprised if i end up giving birth by the time her shift ends so this was at 5 o'clock at 5 p.m and her shift ends at 8 a.m that morning and so i was like i know i'm gonna be here for a really long time because you know it can take really long time especially for me when i'm like zero centimeter dilated so she told me they were gonna give me cytotec it's like a small pill that you can either take in your mouth or they'll just insert it down there and she told me i would wait four hours and then i'll take another one and then they would insert balloon inside to like open me up and then after that they'll give me pitocin and then see if all that is gonna get me going that was the plan but as soon as she gave me the cytotec after like a couple of hours i actually ended up going into labor and i didn't really need anything else i started cramping maybe one or two hours after i got the cytotec i asked them to insert it instead of taking it by my mouth because i just wanted to speed up the process um they came and they checked me i was already three centimeter dilated so they were like oh this is happening really fast so that means we're not going to give you another dose of cytotec because it looks like it's working after like a couple more hours the pain was too much for me so i ended up taking epidural and then i went to sleep and then around 2 a.m or so they came and checked me and i was already eight centimeters dilated and my midwife was very surprised she was like i can't believe how fast this is happening and so she was like let me know when you feel a pressure on your butt like where you feel like you really have to go so around 4 30 i felt that i felt that pressure so i told cj i was like hey like i'm feeling this and then he called the midwives for me they came and they checked and i was already 10 centimeters dilated and i was ready to push by 5 a.m and so yeah she was like wow like i can't believe how fast this is going all it took was just one little tiny pill and i didn't really need to take anything else and at five o'clock started pushing for an hour and a half and at 6 39 she was born that's pretty much like what happened in a very fast fast way like of telling you guys like that's how the entire night went and um the birth experience i mean i had epidural so i was not feeling most of the pushing but at the end when her head was coming out i actually felt that burning and i was telling cj to like keep pressing the epidural because i could feel it it turned out that i actually ended up having a second degree tear and that's probably why i felt it <laughs> because i tore up really badly and i had to get so many stitches and that's why i'm still recovering um i can't sit for too long like the way i'm sitting and holding her i can't do that for too long still and i'm very much taking things very slowly and it still hurts it still stings down there and i'm gonna wait and see what they say on my six weeks checkup and i also realized that i never mentioned her name i posted in the community tab thing um 
if you haven't seen that yet her name is Isabella her last name is Belgard which I think you might have noticed on my YouTube channel I have changed my name finally I was supposed to do that when I got married like almost a year ago okay, more than a year ago but I've been too lazy to actually get my name changed and when she came I felt like now we're like a family and I should just change finally change the name on YouTube oh, and also she got a lot of hair like that's what everybody was saying and not only does she have a lot of hair it's actually pretty long like she have really long hair for for a one month old all right so we got some stuff from Amazon mostly baby stuff we got her more oh this is the reason why the box is heavy more wipes the honest wipes we got eight of them this time the first time I bought four and we're already out of it so this time I decided to get eight see now there's a lot of wipes it's also outgrowing a lot of her clothes so decided to get her some wait what is this oh this one is a sign that we're gonna do a photo shoot with like each month she turns like you know one month two month we're gonna use this numbers and we're gonna attach it to this and we're gonna put her next to it and we're gonna do a photo shoot so we're gonna try to do a one month photo shoot um today or tomorrow so we're gonna be using this and we'll see how that's gonna look i got her sets of what is it four four onesies i feel like these are big enough because the ones that she have she's not growing already i'm surprised by how fast she's growing i don't like this one at all but i like the rest so that's why i decided to get it like this one is pretty cute this is the only one i don't like i don't like all the dots i don't like polka dots so there's that you know we have storage problems so like a, a little like storage space two of them we're gonna put it on top of the closet probably and it's gonna help us store some things that's pretty much everything i got from amazon she's awake right now and so i'm about to give her her vitamin D, the vitamin D that I use is this, um, the Wellman's Organic Vitamin D Drops. The doctor recommended that we give her vitamin D every single day. Um, she doesn't get a lot of sun. Actually, she doesn't get any sun at all because she was born in the fall and now it's cold. So she never really gets to go out to be in the sun. This is how small the bottle is. And I try to put it on a pacifier, like just one drop and then I give it to her. So this is our pacifier. She's with her dad right now. She loves being with him. He holds her for like a really long time and that's like her favorite part of the day. Yeah. Alright, that's just like one little tiny drop. And I'm gonna give this to her. I wonder what this tastes like. So far, she, okay. so far she's not complaining about it. So. Yeah. I don't think it's bitter. If it was, then she would not, she would not accept it. I already love you. We love your toes. They'll be small and round, and we do as I count them. I already love your eyes. They'll sparkle with light when our gazes meet. We're doing tummy time now, and she's getting so much stronger. Look how much you can lift your head up. Royal. Hi, Royally. Hi, Roy Roy. It is Thanksgiving morning, and I'm really excited because it's gonna be our first Thanksgiving with a baby, and it kind of feels like, you know, like our first Thanksgiving as a family. So I'm really excited for the day. We're gonna celebrate, and it's gonna be fun. I'm currently watching the Thanksgiving parade live because. This year we didn't go. Last year we went. If you saw my vlog, we ended up going a little bit late so we didn't get to be in the very front or anything like that. But today it's actually rainy and so I'm watching the parade and it looks very gloomy and don't nobody want to be out there right now. Let me show you guys how it looks. So outside right now it's... It's like that. It's like dark and rainy. I don't even know if you can tell. Look at the parade. I feel so bad. 
for people that are out there. Good morning, everybody. What is this in your hair? Piece of cloth? Okay, you just want to look up. You just want to look up. What are you screaming? So right now it is, I think, 11 o'clock. So for Thanksgiving, we were thinking with CJ that I think it's going to be too much for us to cook. Like I'm still recovering and who's going to cook all that food? Not us. So we actually made an order at Whole Food because they have catering for Thanksgiving. And so we ordered that maybe like a week ago. And so CJ is about to go pick it up now. So we're going to see if the Thanksgiving food is going to be any good. CJ is back with the Whole Food catering. And oh my goodness, I did not realize how big the turkey actually is. I think this is like really big because on the website, I thought it said it serves up to four or eight people. I don't know. And here we have like some gravy and cranberry sauce so in here we have veggies and we have mashed potatoes and stuffing and also we have apple pie so we have everything that we need okay this so for thanksgiving i'm gonna put isabella in this outfit this little sweater and those pants, they're like bears, but the color is very thanksgiving -y. It's like fall color. So I think this is cute. So that way we can do like pictures, like family pictures. But we also have to change. Like I don't have any, I'm not sure what I'm going to wear yet. And But CJ and I are also going to change into something a little bit better so we can do pictures. The turkey has to be warm for 25 to 30 minutes. So actually we're just going to start with that. Our kids getting ready to go in the oven. I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of scary for me. It's big. <laughs> CJ's about to put it in. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right, so setting up her one month please ignore the fan it's so loud but i'm gonna put this one month sign because we're gonna do her one month photo shoot the effort that we're putting in <laughs> the turkey is almost ready and that's why we have the fan on because it smells strong. Really happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Stuffing is out of the oven and it's ready. I guess everything is ready now. We are done setting up. We got the stuffing, the pie, the turkey and all the sides and we're finally about to eat honestly it's six o'clock already and i'm starving is that how you cut turkey the way we have the pie out just for picture <laughs> royal what are you getting excited for Salty. 
I mean, in the middle area, it was just. It was gonna be pretty plain. Oh, she didn't let me go. 